This review is on Monster Madness, baby. And it's a four-pack set. And if you're into horror movies, then you need to get on DVD all four of these babies. On the first disc of Monster Madness, as you can see on the front of it, right here, it's called The Golden Age of the Horror Film. Now this uh, DVD, <clears throat> of course it's got, you can see it's got Dracula, The Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein, King Kong, Wolfman, Phantom of the Opera, The Mummy. I mean, it's got all this good stuff. Most of it is from the uh, 20s, the Silent Age, um, and the uh, 30s into the Universal Monsters. This documentary is just great. I mean, this is, like I said, four parts, but this first one is really good. I mean, learn your history about horror movies if you already don't know about this. And sometimes you can still learn a little bit more. Like I said, it goes through the Universal Monsters and it goes to the downfall at uh, the end of it and leading up to part two of what took over after that. Part two now, okay, this one's called Mutants, Space Invaders, and the Drive-Ins. This one, I mean, look at it. You got the creature from the Black Lagoon, and you've got uh, stuff about Ed Wood in it, uh, and of course the Drive-In, uh, a lot of the space movies and stuff from that era, going in from, I guess, the late 30s, early 40s, into some of the 50s. Uh, great uh, documentary on that. I highly recommend it for people that love this kind of stuff. I know it's cheesy and compared to nowadays stuff, but to me, I've always liked learning about the history of stuff, and there's no different than the movies. I love learning about the history and stuff that went on way before I was even born. So, part two here, and look at the cover right there. Part three! This is called The Gothic Revival of Horror, and of course, if you can see on the front of it, it has Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee. It's all basically about the Hammer films, the British Hammer films. And if you're a horror fan and you like the stuff from the uh, Universal Monsters, then you'll definitely love the stuff about the Hammer because they revived a lot of that and they, they changed a lot of it and they made a lot of films in the, I, I think it was around mostly in the 60s. But they started out in the 50s. And even went into the, some of the 70s too. So this explains a lot of that stuff. Talking about that Dracula at that time was Christopher Lee. And he did quite a bit of films. I've got a lot of his in my collection. And Peter Cushing and stuff. So there's the back of that one. And that's the part three of this. And now the last one. This one's called The Counterculture to Blockbuster. This is part four. Now when I first got these, like I said in my update I just showed a few days ago. I thought there was only three and then I found this one. Now as you can see this one takes off from the um, Hammer films and goes straight into the 70s and the 80s and a brief little minute of talking about the 90s and, and today's uh, horror movies were uh, basically you know CGI came in and you know destroyed a lot of stuff but uh, as you can see on the front of this you got and it even talks about the Planet of the Apes and it talks a lot about werewolves it talks about Blackula from the black exploitation films, uh, it even talks about Star Trek. I mean, you you got uh, Leonard Nimoy up there, and uh, a lot of Vincent Price stuff. I mean, it's a great documentary. But the only thing is about this documentary on uh, part four here, the Mar Monster Madness, is, and then of course it talks about Alien. You can see Alien there, but it's got the Exorcist right here. You know, Linda Blair, and they don't even talk about that. That's the weirdest thing. I'm gonna just spoil that for you right now. It doesn't even say anything about the Exorcist in this. Really crazy. But in the 80s and stuff, it does talk about uh, Cujo. It talks about uh, the Howling. A lot of stuff about D. Wallace and a lot of interviews from D. Wallace. So. But uh, it is still pretty good, but even though it goes into the 70s and 80s, it talks about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre for a, just a few seconds, not a whole lot, but it does not mention Nightmare on Elm Street, it doesn't mention Friday the 13th, and it does not mention Halloween. 
I don't understand if you're going through horror and you're going all through these years with all these DVDs here, you cannot mention them three. I don't know. They just really didn't talk about slashers, so mainly monster stuff, but I don't know. You could talk about that a little bit too, but the funny thing is, like I said, they got Linda Blair on the front and they didn't even talk about the Exorcist, so that's really weird. So anyway, if you are fortunate enough to find all these, all these came from Amazon. I've never seen these out. You might find these out somewhere in the wild or you might find them at a store near you. Where I live, no chance in that and uh, probably be a little bit more. I, I got a FYE, I got a little local store called Cheap Thrills Records and I have Walmart. So there's not a whole lot around here. So I had to order these, but by chance of just looking through Amazon and I seen these one day, and got every one of them around I think it's twelve dollars or less so monster madness a short little review not giving too much away but if you're into horror and you love the history of horror get this set right here baby till next time